Hey guys, back here at the Rhetoric 2017 Backstage Green Room, and here with me we have Derek and Goy. How hey, are you? I'm doing it's well. It's your first time here. It is. Super excited, yeah, right? I yeah, am. I am. Yeah, yeah, well, super excited and maybe nervous because I heard you're opening up the show. I am, so I don't know if I'm nervous. Okay. I'm just yeah, take it as a looking privilege. forward to yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone had to go first, That's right. right? So they yeah. just choose you. Okay, Um. so where are you originally from? I was born in Guam. Okay. Uh, but my family, we've been in the LA area okay. since the 70s. Long Beach. Yeah. Torrance. Long outside Beach. Of LA. 5562. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, it was only 310. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. See, I'm like more like the newer generation. <laughs> yeah. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, what was your journey to get to this year's uh, Rhetoric 2017? Um, my manager actually said I should submit a video. Okay. And I did. And I'm here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. I wasn't really expecting anything um, out of it. I just, you know, let me let me do something to get put something together. Yeah. And um, I didn't even think I was gonna get picked because mm. um, I just put something together on in my garage. Mm. And I guess it was good enough. Well, Praise the God. The Lord was there. That's yeah. right. You know, he's hanging out in the garage. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. You know. Yeah. This year, our our theme is hashtag No Filter. Can you tell us a little bit about the piece you'll be performing tonight? Yeah. So I'm also a pastor uh, okay. in Long Beach, and um, our church is beautifully ugly, if mm. that makes sense. 10% mm -hmm. um, of our attendance is homeless. Um, and so I, I find it fascinating to see folks from the hills of PV and those uh -huh. on the streets of Long Beach right. meshing together very well. Mm. Um, and that was part of us intentionally not making our church about the Sunday. Um, I think a lot of times churches are all about Sundays mm -hmm. and bringing, hoarding people into this little space and right. forgetting about there's a world out there that truly needs to hear the gospel. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my piece is called Saturated in that God has commissioned us to saturate the neighborhoods mm -hmm. and uh, to not be afraid of those who are around us, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because at the end of the day, we're all created in the image and likeness of God. Right. Just some of us choose to follow Jesus and some don't, but mm -hmm. we're still um, people that God created. And um, it's more of a challenge, I guess, to the yeah. church, you know. Yeah. So. so if it was, like, one takeaway you would want the audience to feel or to capture, what would you say? What would it be? That they would go home and say, yeah, I want to I wanna get out there and, mm. and share the gospel with folks who don't know it yet. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> um, so the process of writing this spoken word piece of being in a community to sharing it in front of 3,000 people, what was that process in writing the poem? So a lot of times uh, when I write, I walk the streets, mm -hmm. say hi to a lot of my homeless friends and yeah. the neighborhood folks, and a lot of it comes from conversations I had. There's a, there's a line in the piece where I had a conversation in a laundromat mm. with an agnostic oh. and um, who left the church a long time ago didn't leave Jesus, he just left the church because of the people. Mm -hmm. um, and out of that conversation I had with him, I started writing bits and pieces of that poem. Um, and so, yeah, it, wow. it, it's out of the experiences I've had with other folks. Right. And my own journey, too, growing tired of the church right. at, at times. And so. Yeah, well, that sounds like an amazing piece. I'm Thanks. so excited to, you know, that all these people are going to get to hear it and yeah. hopefully resonate and just, like, speak to them and even, like, provoke them to go yeah. out there and then just step out of the church walls which like you said we're unfortunately we're becoming a christian on sundays yeah. type of feel but i'm excited um can you let them know where they could follow you yeah so all of my social media is all linked to my name so it's d-e-r-r-i-c-k-e-n-g-o-y poetry and that's instagram twitter facebook youtube nice soundcloud so get connected with him hit him up He's in Long Beach. They could probably just go to your church yeah. area if they want to meet up with you yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> they can. Yeah, and also, guys, don't forget to follow us at p4cm.com and all throughout social media. So excited that you're here. I wish you the best of Thank luck. You. you know, you're the first one up. I know you're going to kill it. Yeah, so thanks. thanks for being with Appreciate us. Appreciate that, yeah.